So I've received a couple of comments on my channel recently from people who have also linked to videos such as this one, which shows the sun um, apparently getting smaller as it moves closer to the horizon when it's setting. And I'll just play uh, a short part of this video. You can see that the sun does indeed appear to get smaller as it moves closer to the horizon. And I'm not singling out this particular video. There are actually plenty of them on uh, YouTube. There you can see it looks like the sun is getting smaller. Now, I certainly don't disagree with that. Now, if um, we look at perspective, I absolutely agree that as the sun moves further away, it should be getting smaller. I've got two balls here that are basically identical size. And if we move one further away, absolutely, it's going to look smaller. So no argument from me about that. If we have a flat earth, and the sun is moving further away from us, then yes, I agree it's going to get smaller. However, what we're seeing in these videos is not the true size of the sun. It's the sun flare. And as the sun gets closer to the horizon, the sun flare reduces because the line of sight from your eye to the sun is now looking through more atmosphere than when it was higher in the sky. Remember back to my other video, where I showed you how to use just a normal welding style filter to cut through the sun flare and see the true size of the sun. You'll see when you eliminate that sun flare, the actual size of the sun is much smaller. So if we were looking at these videos, and using a solar filter that eliminates the sun flare altogether, we would see that the true size of the sun does not change from sunrise in the morning through midday and sunset. So I decided it was time to do my own experiments properly using the P900 and with a correct solar filter so that we can eliminate the sun flare and get an accurate indication of the size of the sun. Now there's my P900 and it takes a 67 millimeter filter on the front. I did a bit of shopping around. I couldn't find a dedicated solar filter specifically for the camera. They are available, but they're quite difficult to obtain here in uh, Australia. So what I did was just um, basically assemble one using an Orion solar filter from a telescope and just a rubber hood with a 67 millimeter mount. And that just screws straight on the front of the P900 and it fits perfectly inside that um, solar filter. So I was able to create a very effective and uh, useful solar filter for the P900. Now, the other thing I did was just try a slightly different one. This is just using uh, beta solar film. And again, just a rubber hood. And this uh, produces a similar result. It just gives a slightly different color on the sun. This is just a, uh, a solar film, and this one's actually using solar glass, which gives a more yellowish color, which you'll see shortly. But uh, with the P900, just to keep the um, zoom level consistent, I used maximum optical zoom, and I had digital zoom turned off, and I'll just show you that now. So there's the settings menu, and as you can see, I've got digital zoom turned off, and that way I was able to use maximum optical zoom for all my measurements so that I knew the zoom level would be consistent without getting into the digital zoom effect. And uh, this is the P900 with the solar filter attached. You can see it's quite solid. It's not gonna come off in uh, wind or, you know, if you're moving it around, it's a, it's a good solid filter and it works very effectively. So what I'll do now is just show you some of the results that I obtained today. And you can see that uh, the morning shot was actually taken with uh, this film filter and the midday and the afternoon shots were taken with this filter. Now, um, I'm going to do a lot more detailed videos on this. So uh, just have a look at these uh, photos just as an introduction, just showing you how easy it is to obtain accurate readings yourself. It's not hard to, uh, to get a solar filter for your camera and uh, do these readings yourself. I'm no expert in photography, not by a long shot, but uh, I was able to do this today and um, basically debunk all these videos that uh, claim the sun is shrinking because it's absolutely not. It was exactly the same size morning, midday and afternoon.
And there's the three uh, photos. You'll see the timestamp, 9.30 this morning. That was using the, uh, the film filter. You'll see the sun's got a, a white color and the dimensions there. It was uh, 1210 by 1210 pixels when I measured it on the screen. And remember the zoom level for each of these photographs was exactly the same. So there's the morning shot. This was at midday. So it was taken at uh, 12.03, same dimensions exactly. And then again in the afternoon at 16.24, same dimensions exactly. Now you can see the colors slightly different. And part of that is due to the fact that this was the first day I've been experimenting with these filters and I was just playing with different shutter speeds and settings. But the important thing here is that by using a proper solar filter on the camera, we are getting the true size of the sun. We're not being misled by the sun flare, which does appear to be increasing and decreasing as the sun gets closer to the horizon. We're seeing the true size of the sun and it just doesn't change throughout the day. So uh, what I recommend you do is, uh, again, don't take my word for it. This is a really easy experiment. Anyone can do this themselves. If you own a camera, all you need to do is just go and uh, find one of these solar filters, put it on your camera and make this observation yourself. And you'll see that the true size of the sun does not change.